Francisco is actually long overdue. If democracy uh -huh. is about legitimacy, okay. then the school has been legitimized by the Nigerian people. Abusiafo, we didn't say a year cool as she would be jay. Nay, I dare to say, a time before no longer some more chain or more chain. Ya, or more change, say, and ya as I'm good to a more or more chain or more bungo to jay so a good uncle wants to say, Rade, my cool him, my cool him, I say, I check out a dog. That's the uncle point, ye list me mistake to a bea as I'm going to move for ye. She, I can't even see the uncle when I just a winning wall. Ah, she's now away. Cool, you bow in the jail, you know. say, just say, a man who do also, you know, be a cacabi. Then they wait, China, no way, China, do be a Canadian. Next, the jail for Nangasa, the inch, and tea, or man was some, and for my drink, that a fuck who you and a gunner do be a China, then you be a cabisa, and that's the jail for Nangasa, or more so honor. In Yanti, or some of my D. Nay, you know, when you can say, be a free rubber, the abba, or finish your rubber. I don't know, full lesson, you know, A to Z, a quiet fast, so just a cool see ya. The only year I was there for, and some day more the year past. Be sure and be sure about some comment like and say subscribe. It's coming out on TV. It's and say yeah no. You ain't chill. Go be sure for my phone on charge. Cool here about Nigeria. Just say Obia Chenna Jim Bebri. Obia Kebi. Any questions for Kwa Ade Omoko? Omo ya Nigeria. Omo twenty nine man abos. Omo omo di anfa bo anu kujina park anu so. No omo koto omo omo koto bo anu omo sabo jina o. I say omo ko as omo ba. I say as omo su as omo su. I say who as ya kekai say ne ah. Ko asu fo e mon kamienti anze. Ye di ya oni si ye ni aji ye wa chui ma mo se di ebe ne me mo di military intervention. I say ba sa ne di abusi afo. Mo fo sa choma juan fo eko eko as fo ni ma ingwe se eko ma. Na na ko 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 fo ati si ane se ma pa ma pa we tante tante na wenyi ni. En fo wo ko fo sa di di afo sen zona gane ti anu kwa ye pa ye ingwe se ye wulu kuwo ai ye wulu kuwo ye tu ye kofi odobe se ye tu na we na wo wa we na chile. En ni bo fo ake si anu. And yet, the team is seven months. Why, Tlassi D. You did not know, no, any. And for a woman, go for a for long, but didn't tell any as it. When it a Nadia president, no, when you know, I ain't go for me. Oh, my son, we ask, hey, you're betting your betting my commons about what? Moments of Mutim could be. Yes, therefore, um, Cacrebi and Moses one was up. I never did ever open a case in me for the jab, I was here for. A bit, you know, just say, a quiet fast so I couldn't, a chassis. Baby, a chassis free, a quiet fast sort of phony in a quiet gadaye, quiet fast in a prayers, a bomb pie, a chain, I say. Uncle Pong, but cool, Nissi. Now, a cheddar dog was twenty four sebi. Or what do you say, Hunu? Tea, be blessed, yeah. Niger, you've experienced a lot of military interventions yes, in sir. what they call democratic rule. Yes. What do you, from to the best of your knowledge, what accounted for all that? What accounted for all the coup that Niger experienced? Uh, let me talk about this particular coup right here. This particular coup here is a result of insec insecurity, where uh, terrorists in, uh, on motorcycles by the hundreds would come and just kill Niger soldiers and, and citizenry, displace villagers by the, by the thousands. Matter of fact, since last, the last 12 years, 921 schools were closed. Mm -hmm. 94 health facilities were also closed. 655,000 people were displaced. Now, how many health facilities were closed? 94. 94 health yes, facilities. 94 health facilities. Not this one, the previous one? The, from the last 12 years. The last 12 years. Yeah, the last 12 94 years. health facilities. facilities. That is hospitals. Hospitals were closed. closed. Okay. 921 schools closed. 79 921 schools, schools closed. closed. Okay. 79,000 students are out of schools. 79,000? 79,000. 79, We're out of school. We're out of schools. Cannot go to school because of insecurity. Okay. Um, in five attacks, in Tilia, 137 people dead, soldiers. In uh, Bani Bongu, 66 people. In Tilbury, 57, pe 57 people. In Shinogoda, which is a military barracks, 89 people. In Enotest, 71 people died. On top of that, you got nepotism. 
the former president, not Bazoum, but the pres previous okay, president. The one before The Bazoum. one before Bazoum, were they from the same political party anyway, has his son as the minister of, of oil and energy. And all these big... The president's son. The president's son. Minister of... Minister of oil, oil and, and energy. energy. And energy, okay. petroleum. And uh, all the big shots, the so-called big shots of the government, mm -hmm. had their sons placed somewhere, either ambassadors or... Uh, the director of a uh, bigger company, state companies, and so on. So and the so national forth. cake was virtually shared was among, themselves. among themselves. Okay. Among themselves. On top of that, there's a uh, cronyism mm -hmm. where they were embezzling public funds. Uh, we got what they, the so called MDN gate, which is the Ministry of Defense gate, where 1,300 billion SEFA allocated to the, to the ministry was actually embezzled. And that is 1.3 billion dollars. 1.3 billion sefer. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I don't know how much that will be in uh, in dollars. That's fine. Yes. And um, there's have they also have uh, the uranium gates where 200 million, 200 billion CFA mm -hmm. were also taken out of the uh, coffers of the government. By That's equivalent to 154 billion, billion dollars. Billion dollars, some some something hey. like that. So. The school was all these monies were embezzled. Were embezzled. Okay. And the military, everybody knows about this. Uh, the justice system knows about this, pe these people, and they have uh, an agency called the uh, Court of Court de Compte, okay. which is uh, like the government accounting uh, organs, who made uh, uh, an investigation about it. Today, all these people are billionaires, whereas the rest of the country is dying. Uh, there's, no, there's blatant poverty in Niger. As you can see here in Ghana, you see a lot of children in the street in between the cars begging. That's a sign that the country is sick. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of, pe lot of things that led to this coup. This coup is actually long overdue. People were eager for this coup to come about. Hmm. And uh, when it came, as you can see all over, people are jubilating. You, you're saying that the people in Niger yes. were waiting for a coup? We're waiting for a coup. The people of Niger were actually. So it was rather the citizens who were crying who for were this. Who were crying for this coup. The citizens were crying for this coup. And they said it. Because what happened is. Were you Niger crying also, for the coup as well? I was. <laughs> I was. Okay. This coup is an overdue, uh, overdue uh, event that came. It was overdue. By all Niger, by Nigerian of all walks so of life. So you were waiting for it long ago? Long ago. Long ago, we were waiting for this coup. Because how can you imagine? that uh, people were actually taxed by terrorists. Terrorists mm -hmm. would go to a village and said, okay, you know what, I, I need two million sefer by the end of the week. Okay. Otherwise, if I come back and you don't get this money, I'm going to murder all of you. And the people, the village... So the terrorists would go to, all, a village. to a village yes. and demand two and million sefer from sefer. the villages. Yes, that's taxed. That in one week, yes. if you're not able to provide this yes. money, yes. I will come and I'll kill, come and kill everybody, everybody there. Everybody there. And they slaughter people. They slaughter people in the field. People will go to, to go farming, and they will just find them there and kill them. To kill them? To kill them. Blatantly. And the government was just watching? And the government was just watching. And people would say to the government, oh, you know what? We received an ultimatum that if we don't bring this amount of money, that uh, they're coming back. And the government was like, just pay. And the government will pay the terrorists? Not the terrorists. The people of the village. The government will tell the people in the village to pay, to pay the terrorists? To pay the terrorists. How do they get the money? They Somehow, I don't know how they get the money. And you know what? On top of all this, the, the terrorists will go to a village and gather all their livestock. Livestock. So and the villagers became a bargaining chip? A bargaining chip. A bargaining chip in Niger where they will come in the village, take all your livestock, and drive them to, uh, to Mali. Myself talking to you right now, mm -hmm. my father had a lot of animals, camels, uh, cows and stuff. We were victims. At one point, a hundred camels that belonged to my father were driven from Niger to Mali. Hundred? Hundred. That and belongs to your father, were taken, to father. By the were taken by the terrorists to Mali. To Mali. And there was a guy that actually was in charge of the, those animals who followed the traces all the way to Kedah. But they know him in the, in the area. Okay. When he got there, they are uh, somebody like, I know what you're here for, but if he says something, you're going to get killed. 
And uh, somebody came, one of the terrorists came and asked him, oh, why are you here? Like, no, no, I just, I'm just walking around and stuff. He didn't say nothing. So he came back home and told my father. My father like, you know what? Life is better than, than uh, material things. So this school is long overdue, as you could see. <laughs> as you could see. Yes. Nigerian from all walks of life mm -hmm. came out celebrating all over the place. All of Niger. They came out celebrating. celebrating. If democracy is about legitimacy, the Nigerian people gave legitimacy to the school. The so-called coup. Nigerian people from all walks Can of life. Can you repeat what you just said? If democracy uh -huh. is about legitimacy, okay. then the school has been legitimized by the Nigerian people. Fellow Penisian, look up here, Monija. She said, Torres for Titi, or Muha, every day, every time, all the time, everywhere. Oh, my dear, Pia, why is empty and phone? Oh, my dear, Bobo, school, we move. Hey, my phone, music camera. My phone, my book, come on. President saying, yeah, I'm back. I ain't you, Bia. Eight months, one person can go to your mom. Next month, my phone, I, 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 no man, it's more more brace here. No, we didn't know. Just say about a man shows a matter of uranium sense. I'm sa and also a different protein. The ban is in France for the other pium uranium to say resource. Yes, there are busy for a swamp. We are pie. I say, yeah, to one. Yes, I could run so copy money. Yeah, just say, oh, yeah, dear, we can for one fun home. My job is your cry. And who are the year pa? Till the cafe uranium knows what I'm about to now, t tell us how much do you think France was actually milking from Niger? To in give a you a little of, uh, rough ideas, from, from 1971 when uranium was started, extra extraction was started, to 2010, France was buying the, kilo, the kilogram of uranium at 27,300, which is about 500 Ghana cities. Ah. 500 Ghana cities a kilo. No, a ton. No, a kilo. A kilo? Yes. Of uranium? Of uranium. France was France. buying that from 500 cities. 500 cities. And was selling okay. it to almost 2,232 cities. So you could just imagine. From, 2000, from 1971 to 2010, Niger lost about 20 billion euros. Niger lost 20 billion, billion euros. euros. From, 2000, from 1971... Well, they started to 2010. That's when Nigerians like, hey, hey, wait a second, something wrong here, you know, started negotiating. They give us a little more. And then they went from 27,300 to 40,000, which is about 732. 722? 32 cities. Cities. Yes. So still, Niger was missing a lot. So there was, they were virtually taking the uranium They were uranium just taking the uranium free. for free. And you know, 70% of uh, France energy is derived from, from, nuclear, from, from nuclear energy. And most of that energy, most of that energy, most of that uranium is come from Niger. How so come the, 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 the electricity in, in France is being powered by 70% by, by the uranium, by uranium from, from Niger. Niger. Okay. Whereas Niger has no electricity at all. Matter of fact, I was listening to a, a Ugandan president, Yuri Museveni, who doesn't even know what Niger is, but when he heard about ECOWAS going to war against another member state of Africa, He's like, wait a second, what's going on? And he's like, he was told that uh, it was about uranium. And then he, he went to find out that there's what they call the kilowatt hour per capita. Mm -hmm. But Niger has 51 kilowatt hour per capita. Compared to Uganda, which is very, he said, which is very low also, 300 for Uganda, but 30,000 for America. Niger has no electricity. Matter of fact, after the school happened, Niger was getting electricity from Nigeria. It, they cut it off. When they cut it off, and then people started crying, oh, you know what? They, they cut off the electricity on, off, off of the, the former president, Bazoum. Who made it? Who did it? You bring sanctions against Niger. Niger has been actually in a lot of poverty. So you, you, are you still in darkness, or the, you, they've restored electricity? They did not restore electricity. Still today? We, still today. So, so we have what Niger... they call Dumso right now. Okay. <laughs> <We have what laughs> they call... <laughs> yes. So Niger is still in the dark? Niger, Niger is still in the dark. 
Yes, How are you are. managing that? You have industries, you have companies, we, we a few other things that require electrical power yes. to survive. We, well, the, the few industries that we have are all bankrupt. They're all bankrupt. We don't have any more industry. Even before the coup? Even before the coup. Even before the coup. We had an textile industry, bankrupt. Uh, the textile industry? is bankrupt. There's okay. no more textile industry. Okay. The, uh, the brewery okay. is no longer there. All right. The um, soap making industry is not there. We, the only... No, you have a lot of cattle ranches. That's, that's what we have. You've seen, you know that. That's what, that's you what still we have. have that. That's what we what's... have. Cattle, subsistence crops. Mm -hmm. That's what the Niger economy is based on. Subsistence crops, cattle, Maybe we bring onion to uh, Ghana and stuff. That's about $22 million with the uh, trade between uh, Ghana and Niger. 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 Ghana sells Niger $55 million worth of stuff, like especially iron rods, palm oil, and stuff like that. And Niger sells Ghana $22 million worth of uh, onions, uh, livestock, mm -hmm. and, so, and, and some few stuff. So you see, there's a, there's a, there's a cost to this coup. Who is suffering? And why ECOWAS want to bring war, want to go to war against Niger? For what interest? What is the interest of ECOWAS? When this thing happened in Mali, and the Malian told uh, Air, Fr Air France to suspend its flights, mm. and they gave Air France a few days to resume, or otherwise they will give the, the route to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Air France actually resumed its flights, but companies like Air Cote d'Ivoire, wasn't, were not doing it. They were like against it. They were like in sanction. They are sanctioning Mali. Whereas Air France is making, they're losing two million, two million, two billion sefa a day. Air France is making money. That's what I'm saying. Uh, if Kobani said 40 years ago mm -hmm. that there would be a day mm -hmm. where the African youth would wake up and would not agree, would not go for what was, what was happening. Oh, you what? So you get it? You get, you get why the, pe the people are saying they don't want uh, uh, to say a uh, democratic rule. But if you want to talk, and as I said, I'm more the uranium on the court France. Meanwhile, I'm to sum Nigeria and the more Kenya. Now, I'm more now, I'm to sum no. I'm more supply will be electric car power. I mean, how, how, how? What's your way? What's your head? What do you want? Does it make sense? Sikana is a bar. And that is a Kakana bano. And this one chain. On channel one, on chain chick, on cherry. Zah! And I'm going to turn up and if one say, hey, the mama will be busy in one home. Oh, here, move away. Debbie, 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 Debbie. So, the palm must sway, Emma must sway, and this is the idea. Who knew the idea? But they love it, they enjoy it. It's a test, man. I'm a lenny. I'm a love you. I'm kiss you. They love the cool, they kiss the cool, everything. And I love it, love it. They are enjoying it. Now, we are never saying for. Asanso, <laughs> So, Enfa, Enfa, Kranda, I'm going to call it the old Enfa, 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 Enfa. What, what then is it about this ECOWAS militarization of Niger? I think it's a big mistake because if you actually look at what ECOWAS is supposed to be doing, it's for peace, security, and the well being of the citizenry. Okay. And it wasn't set up, ECOWAS wasn't set up, and the the branch of ECOWAS that was supposed to go to war, ECOMOG, mm -hmm. has been conceived to be a uh, peacekeeping mission, uh, to have peacekeeping mission mm -hmm. in, in member states who have civil, civil war. That's not the case in Niger. And then ECOWAS going to war against Niger is black against black, whereas somebody else is making money. Who makes weapons in Africa? Who makes ammunition in Africa? Not, nobody in Africa makes weapons. Nobody, no, no African countries make weapons or, or ammunition. Yes. So whereas Africans are killing each other, somebody else is making money. It doesn't make sense to me. Mm. It doesn't make sense to me. Mm. We need to grow up. We need to rise up. We need to wake up. Because we've been sleeping for a long time. So if democracy is a legitimate process, 
then this coup was also illegitimized Legit by the people by the people of Niger of Niger yes sir so you like the key the coup I'm hundred percent for the coup you love it I love it you want it to be there I will need, I, will, I was expecting this coup for a long time and when it happened I was, I was jubilating like everybody else you sound like you are tired of democracy democracy is that we not we're tired of copy and paste democracy copy and paste copy and paste democracy has to be if we were to have democracy it has to be based on our values and our culture not something that happened i remember when democracy was bringing was bringing was, was brought to africa or to niger by french africa was you know every year there's a this france africa the so-called france africa where france called all the african president and they all run to france and it was during Mitterrand mm. who says if we don't adopt democracy then we're not going to help you we're not going to give you no more aid but who's hate who's aiding who are they aiding us or we're aiding them who's giving money who's giving who money we are rather giving them money so if we're saying that uh, the West, the yes. Europeans, the Americans, yes. or whoever, yes. are giving us aid. aid. We should do the calculation. Yeah, we should do the calculation. And then you would rather come to believe we that believe Africa is rather as the one aiding them. Aiding them. Not, not, the right, not the other way around. Not the other way around. If you take the uranium, which is the biggest problem that we have, all African countries, if you have, if you have resources, then you have a problem. What's here? Just say, the people are not in support of the coup. Mosumujina <laughs> Sisiya, what's the name democratic rubio? Currently, it's here cool, and I see. I'm about to say, yeah, military now will take you over. Military will take you over, yeah. Most of us are most terrorists for how much it is to my brother, boy, John, my son, two, four, seven. Yeah, schools, they say, a hundred plus, a cheap. Clinics, I hold on, you're close to the terrorists. You're close to the terrorists attacking. Some military day our bay. What to say? Eh, and to sound so binyan to sound so now by a bay. Binyan to sound so. Eh, oh, terrorist attack you wanna. And also, Tiro Kafa and now we have a body of our gene chebra. In fact, sir, eh, Niger, eh, you say, cool, so we are. Oh, man, you know, it's the solo could this thing, man. And then, yeah, many a year, pa, they are enjoying it. They are loving it. They are kissing it. It's everything tasty, man. Nutritious. Man, ha, TV. Therefore, I drink a bar of Armadine and the Amosa and the Buffalo. The tariffs that you had in Niger, mm -hmm. they had their message so clear, mm -hmm. and then uh, they can operate anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, they have explosives, and one of their major modus operandi was the surprise attacks mm -hmm. on the people mm -hmm. demanding mm -hmm. monies from these mm -hmm. very poor villages mm -hmm. and all. Now, Chiani, who is a well-trained military general yes sir is in now mm -hmm. what has happened to the territory that harbors these terrorists the terrorists right now are pretty scared because they scared. they're pretty scared because for that that insecurity is among what they call the tri-state the tri-state area border area okay which is which include mali niger and burkina so back in the days where Mali, when all these countries were fighting terrorists on, by themselves, terrorists would, would be, Mali would fight terrorists, would chase terrorists, and would come to Niger and seek shelter, or go to Burkina Faso. But today, when we have those tri-states, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, I'm pretty sure in a few weeks, because right now the military in Niger, their mind is on uh, what ECOWAS is trying to do, they need, they need to concentrate first on what ECOWAS is trying to do, ECOWAS is trying to bring war to Niger. But once they get settled, I'm pretty sure that this ECOWAS, these terrorists, will, their terrorism will end in that area. Because first of all, terrorism was created when uh, NATO, in, NATO intervened in Libya, unleashed havoc 
on the sub-Saharan. So all these happened after NATO intervened, after NATO intervened in, in Libya. Libya. Exactly. Entertainment. Uh -huh. Chemical TV. Yeah, they're wrong.